Good morning. Welcome to Coffee with Pastor. This is June the 5th of 2023, and I have a hot cup of coffee right here ready to enjoy. Uh, fresh from the coffee pot, I have my copy of the Word of God open to the book of Amos in chapter 6. The book of Amos chapter 6 is where we are at this morning, and I would encourage you to join us. And I hope that today is going to be a wonderful, wonderful day. As we get started, we're going to turn our attention to the bad dad joke. And why did the cat run away from the tree? Why did the cat run away from the tree? Because of its bark. We'll put that away, and I hope your day only gets better from here. By the way, my day started with a very, very pleasant surprise. I stepped outside. I was going to start recording coffee with Pastor, and lo and behold, it was raining. And that is a, something that we have been looking forward to. We needed it a very slow rain, very light rain, but nevertheless, it is rain, and we praise God for it. And obviously, I'm inside now to record. But anyway, it started out very well. Again, I'm trusting that the day continues to go that way. and I would love it if that rain just continued all day, but I guess it's supposed to clear up in about an hour. So it is about the nine o'clock hour. And so we're going to go ahead. We're going to go bow our heads in prayer and ask God's blessing upon our Bible reading, upon our day, and upon each and every one of us. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for the rain today. Father, if it were our will, we pray that it would rain literally all day. You know what you're going to bless us with. And Father, we thank you for it right from the get-go. Thank you. Father, as we stand in your presence today, so much to do beautiful day in which to do it. And Father, we just pray that you would bless the work of our hands. We pray that you would guide us and direct us in decisions that need to be made. But Father, keep us always in tune to the fact that it is your work, it is your will that is important to us. So Father, we come into your presence asking your blessing upon this day. Father, as we go through the day, we ask that you would be well-pleasing, or rather that we would be well-pleasing to you. That we would indeed seek your honor and your glory. Father, again, guide us today. Father, we do want to ask your blessing upon each one of your people. We ask that you would encourage them. We ask that you would challenge them. We ask that you would sanctify them. Make them into the image of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Make us holy. Father, we do indeed pray that the world would see our righteousness, our good deeds, our good works, and glorify you in heaven for what you have done in our hearts and lives, for what you are bringing to pass. Father, bless us today. And Lord, as we open up your word, we again ask that you would use it to change our lives. Change our lives completely. Father, again, we ask that you would make of us exactly what you would have us to be. We thank you for this day. Again, we thank you for the rain that you have given to us. Father, we think about the fire up by grailing. The more rain that comes, the better off we are there. Father, your will be done. Thank you for this privilege that we have to read your word. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amos, chapter 6. Woe to them that are at ease in Zion and trust in the mountain of Samaria, which are named chief of the nations, 
to whom the house of Israel came. Pass ye into Kalma and see, and from thence go ye to Hamath the great, then go down to Gath of the Philistines. Be they better than these kingdoms, or their border greater than your border? Ye that put far away the evil day, and cause the seat of violence to come near, that lie upon the beds of ivory, and stretch themselves upon the couches, and eat lambs out of the flock, and the calves out of the midst of the stall, that chant to the sound of the viol, and invent to themselves instruments of music like David, that drink wine in bowls, and anoint themselves with the chief ointments, but they are not grieved for the affliction of Joseph. Therefore, now shall they go captive, with the first that go captive, and the banquet of them that stretch themselves shall be removed. The Lord God hath sworn by himself, saith the Lord God of hosts, I abhor the excellency of Jacob, and hate his palaces. Therefore, will I deliver up the city with all that is therein. And it shall come to pass, if there remain ten men in one house, that they shall die. And a man's uncle shall take him up, and he that burneth him, to bring out the bones out of the house, and shall say unto him that is by the sides of the house, Is there yet any with thee? And he shall say, No. Then shall he say, Hold thy tongue, for we may not make mention of the name of the Lord. For behold, the Lord commandeth, and he will smite the great house with the breeches, and the little house with the clefts. Shall horses run upon the rock? Will one plow there with oxen? For ye have turned judgment into gall, and the fruit of righteousness into hemlock. Ye which rejoice in a thing of naught, which say, Have we not taken us horns by our own strength? But behold, I will raise up against you a nation, O house of Israel, saith the Lord God of hosts, and they shall afflict you from the entering in of Hemath unto the river of the wilderness. And may God add his blessing to the reading of his word. It amazes me that sometimes right up until the time of God's judgment, there is prosperity, there is rejoicing, there are until the time of God's return, God's judgment. Beloved, again, I trust you're going to have a wonderful, wonderful day. I trust you're going to enjoy it. Praise God for the rain that's outside. But people, again, what is most important for us to remember is our faithfulness to God. Be faithful. That's what matters. And beloved, never allow yourself to become someone else's excuse for turning away from the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. People, remember, God loves you. We do too. And until tomorrow, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.